Good evening, everyone. Welcome to uh, the Leader's Edge um, here at the Speaker's Bureau. And then today we have a very, uh, you know, um, very prominent um, president, past president of PMAP. Okay. Let me introduce Sir Obet to you guys. Sir Obet is a four-term National Board of Directors and uh, Vice President Conference Chairman of 50th PMAP Annual Conference. 2015 National PMAP President, 36 years of experience in human resource management. Oh my goodness, um, mas matanda pa sa akin yung experience niya. <laughs> okay, 13 years as Chairman of Parish Pastoral Council. Okay, but guys, hindi po pastoral ang didiscuss sa atin ni Sir Obet ngayon. We're gonna talk about leadership. Okay, so what will you learn in this free live webinar okay so what number one what part of leadership mountain are you in right now number two what are are you are you ready and capable to move on to the next level of the leadership mountain and number three how will you manage the unknown and uncertainties as you traverse the long and winding pathways of perilous trails in order to reach the summit. Fourth, what is the imperatives will you undertake to um, transcend su successfully establish and sustain your leadership edge? Or guys, ladies and gentlemen, um, Robert or Obet Polycarpio FPM will show you how. Yes, good evening, Rock. Thank you very much for your... Uh very nice introduction mm -hmm. and I'm very happy to be invited to be the first guest speaker of yes, the webinar sir. of the Speakers Bureau. Mm -hmm. It's really an honor to be working with Miss Dina Loomis because uh, the first time that she joined PMAP was in 2015 when I was the PMAP president. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was her first term to, to join the People Management Association of the Philippines. And definitely, each of us has its own pathway or road mm -hmm. to take in life. Just a matter of really exploring and never be afraid to discover what lies ahead of us sometimes mm -hmm. you know you will be at a stage wherein you either make a left turn or a right turn I agree. So sometimes there are circumstances that you are forced to make a u-turn and another instance during your life journey you will be at a crossroad so basically, all those types of stages of traveling in life, I na experience ko na yan, rock. I na experience ko na yan. So wow. what I will share with you are based on my personal experience. Right. My personal experience. At uh, talagang uh, masasabi ko na leadership is not an easy road, but it is a fulfilling one. At the same time, it has many challenges. And, right. we, know, and we know the fact that awesome. leadership is not the end of all, right? So like you, mm -hmm. like me, like anyone, we are just humans, but it is not a reason for us not to transcend the borders for me, there are three major types of borders. One is the self-imposed border, mm -hmm. wherein you don't have that confidence. You don't believe in yourself. And yet, God gives us equally 24-7. God gives us everything that we need. But since it is a self-imposed border, so what would you expect? Of course, you don't expect others to believe and have confidence in you. The second type of border are borders set on you by others. Even though you don't have your self-imposed border, but you easily believe in the border set on you by others. Hindi mo kaya, Obet. 
hindi ka mananalo diyan. Marami kang kalaban diyan sa posisyon, no? Now, the third type of border is you have both both the self-imposed border and the border set on you by others. So definitely if you have the third type of border, don't expect that you'll be able to even be at the base of the mountain. So right. let's proceed. It's pretty interesting, sir, no? Um, kasi maski ako, feeling ko, I will learn a lot from you. Sige, go ahead, sir. I will yeah. leave you the floor. Um, okay. okay. Sige po. So, um, I, I'm really excited, sir, to, 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 to learn from you, sir. Oh, but, all right, sir, I will leave you. I will uh, set myself on mute. So, um, go ahead, sir. Go ahead, po. All right. So, sabi nga di Dr. Kobe, begin with the end in mind. So, that's one of the seven habits of highly effective people. So mental creation precedes physical creation. So before we do anything, and just imagine, before you climb the mountain, you have to visualize how beautiful that the summit is, the top is. Before you embark and engage on a project, mental creation precedes physical creation. Before you go to school, and before you go back, to work after this 102 days to be exact during this uh, lockdown period. We have to visualize what is in store for us on a positive note, right? So let me walk you through the different beautiful mountains that we have in our country, right? So makikita nyo dyan na Napakaganda ng Mount Apo. And the view there is really fantastic. But of course, you need to do a lot of preparation. You need to do a lot of sacrifice, investment in tools, in your gadget equipment. How about Mount Daguldul in Batangas? Right? So it depends on how much you would want to take. No? how much you would want to prove to yourself, not to others. You really have to conquer something that you will be proud of yourself. So Mount Canloon in Negros, the height is 2,465 meters. And time to reach the summit, it's five to six hours. Of course, the very famous Mount Mayon, and normally tourists only stay here at the, the ruins of Kagsawa. So it is around 2,363 meters. And to reach the summit, it will take you around two to three days. How about Mount Pico de Loro in Batangas? It's very near. So it's, uh, I think it's just uh, a good mountain to conquer, just a, a break-in period. And how about Mount Pinatubo? Definitely, I think. Most of us uh, already went there, and the uh, scenery is so beautiful, right? So very easy to reach, 45 minutes, using a 4x4 four four or to our, of course, the Mount Pulag in Benguet. So when I went to Sagada, I really waited for the Sea of Clouds. So I was there at Sagada at the location at around 3 a.m. and uh, patiently waiting for the sun rises. And they see the sea of clouds like this one. And definitely, that's the beauty of being at the top. And that's what leadership is all about. So we need to ask this question, where are you climbing to? So which and what kind of mountain you would want to conquer? Which part of a mountain are you on right now? It's only you who can answer this question? What kind of challenges have you overcome that we can call as a mountain? And who is your coach or mentor as your Sherpa? As we know, uh, most of the climbers who go up to Mount Everest needs a Sherpa. So if you are a true leader, you need a Sherpa. You need to have a coach or a mentor. Because it's not a reason, once you are a leader, you don't need a coach or a mentor. 
You need someone who will guide you along the way. Who have been ahead of you for so many years. May kasabihan nga sa Tagalog, di ba? Tayo, papunta pa lang tayo doon, pero ang ating mga magulang, ang mga nakakatanda sa atin, ay pabalik pa. Now, who has joined your team that will help you reach the top? So, baka mamaya, nag-iisa ka lang. So, you are not a leader. You are simply a doer. O kung meron kang kasama, isa o dalawa, probably, you are a manager. And that is what leadership is all about. So, there are a lot of functions that we have to manage. No? At uh, these are essentials of leadership. And to break it down further, we need to do these different roles at any point in time of our leadership function, of our leadership role. So um, everything is important. No? There's such thing as situational leadership. There's no such thing as perfect leadership style. So I think it's important that we answer the question, why am I leading? What makes me to become a leader? So I think it's very important like what Jesus Christ modeled to us and showed to us. A leader is that someone who is being served. A leader is someone who is serving others. Right? So it's important that as a leader, you don't steal the limelight from others. A leader is a good follower. A leader is someone who really goes to the operations, to the front line, and doesn't command people at the back, at the comfort of the four corners of his office or corporate room. The leader must be at the battlefield. So let us continue our journey and we need to create that path, a good trail. And we also have to follow good trails because these trails were left behind by good leaders. So it's important that we know how to inspire without saying anything. Action speaks louder than words. And I believe if someone who is a leader knows how to inspire others without saying anything but prove everything in action people around him will be motivated and for me there are three levels of motivation extrinsic or external motivation which is short time or temporal and then intrinsic or internal motivation this is something that you throw you draw from within you don't mind if someone will give you a reward or a trophy or a public accolade because for you, you are doing it with, from within because of your love. And the highest form of motivation is what I call transcendental motivation. And that is where pure service would come into the picture as a leader. So from inspiration to motivation, people are now persuaded you know, to follow you, and to really emulate you and to do beyond you know, more than what you, re, you request them to do. They do things, you no, know, perform voluntarily. They do it not because of fear, but because they are inspired, they are motivated and persuaded. So there are five elements that we have to take note of. First is ourself. We need to continuously reflect, renew, and revitalize ourselves. We have to be attuned to the times. We need to be acceptance, uh, accepting of our limitations, of our errors for improvement. And at the same time, we are ready to change for the better based on the feedback and comments of other people. We need to continuously put life in everything we do in everyone's life. Character is important because without character, definitely people will not easily trust you. And definitely, if your character is weak, then definitely your credibility is in integrity are highly questionable. But 
of course, as a leader, you need to have people in your organization and you need to have inspiring vision, purposive vision, values, and norms. For me, these are three basic elements of organization in order for an organization to become a team. And definitely, you need relationship if you want your organization to become a team. So this is connection, communication, and collaboration. We need to connect from within. We need to know who we are, why we do things, what are the things that we have to improve on, and we need to connect to others. We need to communicate no? uh, emphatically and openly. And more than teamwork, we need to collaborate with others. One plus one is not equals to two. One plus one is not one, but one plus one is equals to three. We always work and collaborate with others in order to find a third alternative. And lastly, experience. We need to discern, choose wisely, and learn well. Because I believe it's only the good experience is the best teacher. Good experience is the best teacher wherein I am able to learn something from that good experience. Definitely for me, bad experience is simply bad. So we need to discern whether we will go for it or not. Remember, for every choice that we make, there is a corresponding consequence. And this differentiates the leader from a manager, right? So technically, a manager is in charge of planning, organizing, controlling. And we read in the management books that uh, one of the functions of a manager is leading. And uh, I just highlighted here that the leading function is uh, important. No? And you need to do these three things. Know how to inspire, to influence, and to integrate things. So which is important? Manager or leader or leader or manager? Both are important. You need to have the technical functions of a manager for you to become a leader. At the same time as a manager, you need also to have the functions of a leader. Always remember that leadership influences culture and culture shapes people. No? So in other words, kung anong ginagawa ng matanda, yun ang ginagawa ng bata. Kung anong ginagawa ng boss, yun ang ginagawa ng tao. Tao dyan. I think you will agree with me on this. So what part of the leadership mountain are you right now? Nasaan na ba tayo? So sa akin, we have to reflect right, and uh, rethink. So tayo ba ay quitter? Ay naku, wag na. Dito na lang ako sa, sa base ng mountain. Mukhang mahirap panigin yan. Ayoko na. Suko na ako. Or naku, dumiretso ka nga pero reklamo ka naman ng reklamo. Ano ba to? Ang putik-putik. Ang hirap-hirap naman ang pinagagawa. Mainit. Tapos nagugutom na ako. Ang bigat-bigat yung tundal ako. Diba? So, ba't ka pa sumama? Diba? Why, why you want to become a, a leader? O yun lang, nanonood lang, nagmamasid lang. Wala lang, ma at pa, malay ko, pakailan mo. Diba? Yan ang mga watcher eh. O madalas dyan, ang mga watcher din, mga mosomero. O ano yung ibig sabihin ng mosomero rock? Chismoso na, pakailan mero pa. O, diba? <laughs> Maraming ganyan. Diba? So pampagulo yan. And yung mga borders, so you will not be able to transcend the border if you have this uh, quitter, complainer, and watcher along the way. So doer, I will perform simply because I'm instructed to do it. In other words, napilitan ka lang, nagkasubuan lang. Or, eto ba tayo? Explorer. I will discover new experiences and events. I will lead others to be with me. For me, that is a leader. All right. But of course, it's not a guarantee pag nasa explorer classification ka, 
hindi ka magba-backslide. Pero pwede ka mag-backslide. Depende kung sino sa mga kasama mo. So, importante dyan, again, yung character. You need to safeguard your integrity, your credibility, and being trustworthy. So, yun. Di ba? Kaya, tatlong bagay yan eh. So, so it all starts sa self, sa sarili mo. And then, you work with others. And then, you are part of a bigger group, which is the community. So, at some point in time, nandyan tayo, na-experience natin yan. But of course, we don't settle for less by being a quitter, container, watcher, or doer. Total, pinanik mo na yan, diretso ka na to become explorer. Now, are you ready and capable to move on to the next level of leadership mountain? Yan, tanongin mo sarili mo. Am I ready and capable? So, again, why do I lead? So, I think, importante na ito, makita natin yan, no? Na, these are very important distinctions na dapat ma-differentiate natin between leading and managing. Yung white refers to leadership. The orange color refers to managing. Yeah. Kaya, I think it's important that we know how to concoct the right chemistry in putting these things together. Kasi baka mamaya, kuman ka ng kuman, utos ka ng utos, na hindi mo naman minomotivate ang mga tao mo. Masyado kang reactive. Ganon, init ulo. Di ba? Or, masyado kang makasarili. Di ba? You forget to Look at the big picture, which is your people. Kaya everything starts with a vision and your mission. So without a vision, definitely you cannot have a purposive mission. Kaya importante, begin with the end in mind. Right? So mental creation precedes physical creation. Now, goal versus journey. So, minsan napakaganda nung view eh, no? Kaya lang minsan nakakalimutan natin yung ano, na yung experience. So, never underestimate alright? As you travel in life. So, more than reaching your destination, love the journey. Otherwise, if we are so engrossed in reaching the destination, we forget so many beautiful things along the journey. First and foremost, in lessons we learn along the way. So we need to innovate and be creative. You don't simply think out of the box, but we go out of the box. Kasi pag nandun tayo sa think out of the box, edi nasa box pa rin tayo, di ba? Labas tayo ng box. O ibig sabihin na pag-isipan mo na yan. So go out. So ability to create something new and different out of one's vision and imagination. So, you need to have this design mentality. No, kung nakalangan, maisip natin how we'll be able to challenge the status quo and go beyond no, the normal way of doing it. Of course, ang kalaban natin dyan, yung complacency. So, be equipped, meaning have the competencies. Competency is the totality of one's attitude, skills, and knowledge. So, without competency, then definitely you will not become competent in whatever you do. So, importante yan. Otherwise, malalaglag ka. So, you need to have wisdom in order to discover what is the smartest route. Right? So, yan. Naku, hindi ko kaya yan. I can't. It's impossible. Yan ang mga self-imposed borders. But think this way. I can because it is Possible. So, hindi yung I can't because it is impossible. But believe that you can do it, man. So, have the steadfast faith, defy the limits, face your fears, and go the extra mile so that you perform beyond the ordinary. So, yan. Otherwise, kung takot kang malaglag, you will never be able to learn in life. So, Rock, so far, 
how we are we moving in our journey in going up the leadership mountain wow sir it's a very uh, enlightening lahat ng share niyo in fact um i've been writing down dito um nakalimutan ko na host pala ako no? so <laughs> i thought i'm a participant but you know what sir i i have some uh, text messages here um in, uh, in fact hindi sa messages sa fb chat po no nagmessage sila sa akin questions sabi sure. nila yeah um my manager is taking all the credit so what kind of leadership is that uh, sa akin hindi yan leadership <laughs> Ma- manager lang yan oh uh, because uh, a leader, as I've said, is mm-hmm. always at the forefront. Is always at the front line. Okay. It's always in the battlefield. Mm-hmm. Remember, a leader don't push people. Mm-hmm. Rather, a leader pulls up people. So, kung siya yung credit grabbing, eh, hindi yan. He's pushing away the people. So, nasa yung character ng taong yun? I agree. Integrity, credibility, and trustworthiness. Diba? Yeah. Ang tawag doon, magnanakaw. <laughs> Peter wow. ba yun? You so, know what, sir? Yun. It's really, it's really nice, yung... oh. Tama po yun, sir, no? Kasi, um, yeah, um, this is actually, I hope, no? Yung nag-send sa akin ng message, I will not mention the, the yes, name. Oh, oh, I won't mention the name. But I hope, I hope, um, ma-enlighten, na, and you were enlightened with the Sir Polycarpio's uh, answer. Um, sir, another uh, message, messenger message question sa akin. Hindi ko makita yung growth ko in my current job. Paano ang paano po ang gagawin ko? They cannot see their growth in their current job right now. So, ano po daw yung gagawin niya? Well, like what we said at the start mm-hmm. of this uh, program, mm-hmm. no? nasa kalsada tayo, may journey tayong gagawin. So, mental creation precedes physical creation. So, look at your future in your current mine, mountain now. Yung kumpanya mo, mountain mo yan eh. Di ba? So, there are many ways for you to reach the summit of your corporate mountain. Ang tanong, are you properly equipped? Oh, yun yung sinasabi ko kanina, di ba? Yung, yung competence. Di ba? Yung, I can't because it's impossible. Oh, di ba? Yeah. Sabi natin kanina, I can because it's possible. So, oh. titingnan natin dyan. You need to have a Sherpa. Yung sabi ko kanina, yung coach, mentor, who will guide you. Not necessarily your immediate boss or supervisor. Look for someone in the organization who has the integrity, credibility, and trustworthiness na may track record. Diba? At uh, whom you think is really an authentic leader. O yan, magpagayad ka sa kanya. Ilibre mo siya sa a cup of coffee. Okay na yan. Ang leader, okay na sa cup of coffee. Pero manager, hindi. Hindi lang cup of coffee, Starbucks coffee dapat ang manager. <laughs> Abunado All ka right. pati. So, uh, I hope um, the SMS, uh, oh, sorry, the, the messenger phone question sa akin was able to answer and then you were enlightened by Sir Polycarpus advice and also sa viewers po natin na naki- nanonood po ngayon. I hope make a career plan, no? Correct. Dapat yes. make a career plan siya. And then yeah. work out what will make you to reach the top. O kanina, quitter. Quitter ba tayo? Complainer? Watcher? Doer? Ang ganda lang tayo. We need mm-hmm. to become explorer. Yes. Diba? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. So, so Sir Polycarpo, no? So, um, we only have, yes. only have limited time, uh, forty-five minutes lang. I promise, natin for yes. the show, no? Okay. So, may, may, uh, there's another question here. Uh, is it okay to? Uh, may I share sure. with you? Sure. Sure. Okay. So, ang question po, sir, is what if? Um, sabi niyo po, no? Kung baga, as a manager, as a leader, parang maximum tolerance po ang gagamitin natin dito, no? So, siguro ang context nato na, na binigay niya is what if matigas yung ulo ng staff? mo, yung mas magaling pa siya sa manager. So, this actually, Ay, actually oh, na-experience ko yan, boss, eh. So, <laughs> I mean, ito ko na-experience ko yan. Hindi naman yeah. natin may iwasan yan, di ba? 
Mm-hmm. Oh, diyan papasok yung ano, yung coaching, yung pagiging coach mo at saka pagiging mentor mo. Mhm. Ah, uh, alamin natin ano ang pinanggagalingan. We need to empathize first with mm-hmm. our people. We situate ourselves into their shoes. Bakit siya naging reklamador? Bakit siya ganun ang attitude niya? So alamin mo muna, 'di ba? Unawain mo. Kaya nga ka naging manager eh. Diba? I agree. I agree. Oh, so, All right. Um, sir, uh, next we're... topic natin, ito. Go ahead po, go ahead po. Oh. Next question, how will I manage the unknown and uncertainties? Maraming ganyan, di ba? To reach the summit. Oh, you need to become an influential character. So, importante yung positivity. Again, oh, it must be evidenced by your integrity and credibility. So, pagkatao na ang pinag-uusapan dyan eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman pa pwedeng mabait ka pero kulang ka sa competencies. Hindi naman pa pwedeng magaling ka, matalino ka, mahusay ka, competent ka pero questionable naman yung integrity mo. So kailangan uh, talaga sir, there's a balance no in uh, yes. as a leader. Uh, okay. And we go deeper into that. Mm-hmm. Moral values matter. So at a crossroad of your leadership function, mm-hmm. tutulak mo ba yung kasama mo kasi ang gulo eh. Diba? Or <laughs> in the middle of the night, lalagyan mo ng gatla yung rappel rope para pagdating yun sa summit, malalaglag siya. Kasi ang, ang, ang gulo nga eh. Hindi siya cooperative. So don't compromise principles. Oh. Because if you do that to your teammates, to your colleagues, then you are violating a principle. The principle of love. The principle of malasaki. Diba? Then we need to become Uh, agile thinkers. Oh, proficiency in thinking quickly without sacrificing quality. Ah? Ah, dapat yung speed nun doon. Kaya ka naging manager to make a decision. A decision for the common good, not for your own self. Right? Oh. We need to communicate, communicate, communicate. Oh, wag maging asumera. <laughs> o, lalo itong uh, during the lockdown period. Assume-assume lang tayo dyan. Di ba? So, we don't communicate with our people. We need to connect with them. For me, connection plus communication is equals to collaboration. O, mm-hmm. It's better to over-communicate rather than you don't communicate. Okay. Sir Obet, can we repeat that? I, I really like it. Oh, it's better to over-communicate rather than not to communicate. Why? Because mm-hmm. that will start off the miscommunication. Mm-hmm. Pag may miscommunication, eh na, papasok na yung disagreement. Sige, Rock, are you still uh, single or married? Um, depende po, sir, sa situation. Kidding oh, us. Sige, <laughs> yung depende sa situation, huwag mo kuusapin yung kasama mo starting tonight. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no sir um uh, yeah I'm I'm married I'm um with five kids. Oh kaya nga wag mo ko sapin yung wife mo starting tonight. Alika, <laughs> so, makikita mo may disagreement na kayo and you will have a strained relationship. Mm-hmm. But since sabi ko kanina mm-hmm. as an authentic leader we pull people but we don't push them. Ha? Huh? We push them up but we don't push them away. Yan ang leader, pero pagkaswapong ang tao, yung manager, kasi threat yung tao niya, hindi niya de-develop yan. Hindi, mm-hmm. He will never delegate. Uh, kasi threat nga eh. Why? Yun. Ganun kasi simple. So we need to empathize. Listen with the ears of another. Ha? Take note yan. Ha? Listening with the ears of another. Seeing with the eyes of another. Feeling with the heart of another. That is empathy. Oh. Wow, that's wonderful. Sir Obet, I, I really like to um, you know, discuss more of this because it's really interesting but we're uh, running out of time. 45 minutes yeah. lang po tayo. So we okay. only have uh, one minute left and then I'd like to close it na po. No? If, if you don't mind, Sir Obet, I, I respect your time. I respect your... Uh, yes. Alam ko, busy, busy kayo. And thank you, Sir Obet, for making time for us here yes. in Speakers Aman, Tama, Academy. Naman. Yeah, uh-huh. tamat naman rock. <laughs> And uh, I want to end this uh, part. Go ahead. So with my personal quote. 
probably rock you can read this for me okay it's not what a person says it's how one does that reveals the true character and the motive of heart wow sir it's so lovely quote po parang it really comes to your experience and take note of the two letters the h and the r in the heart oh. these are two important letters the h it means human relationship if you take away the h and the r in that word what will remain is it meaning self centered more of pakabigka but if you have the heart the heart is designed to love others in latin there's a saying nemo dat quod non abet we cannot give what we don't have so if we don't have that love mm -hmm. if we don't have malasakit to ourselves we cannot have love for others and malasakit to everyone All so right. i pray that you rock and our listeners and everyone in the mm -hmm. A speaker's bureau academy that uh, God's graces, guidance, and protection be with you and your loved ones always. Be fit, be healthy, be happy, and be grateful always. Marami salamat po. God bless each and everyone. All right, thank you so much, Sir Albert, for your time. Again, thank you so much, guys, for staying with us.